so when you start learning about storage very first thing you should know is called file system <coughs> so normally a layout on a disk to read and write data okay. something very similar example to understand this file system is our language we need a language to read and write some data if you want to communicate with somebody you need a language right to read speak write whatever it is even though machines need a language called file system to read and write data on a particular hard disk if you have a computer and if there is some internal hard disk or external hard disk whatever it may be if it is storage disk okay, storage device this is a hard disk which is connected to this computer physical computer or virtual computer server or lab client machine doesn't matter okay so if you install windows operating system as of now we know that windows operating systems are there client and server whatever it may be if you install windows operating system this windows os will try to create some layout on this particular hard disk okay it will try to create a particular disk layout on this hard disk when we that's what we call format format it is when you buy a pen even pen drive brand new pen drive when you connect to a laptop it will ask you to format for the first time even if you connect a memory chip it will ask you to format okay if you format this operating system will try to create file system on top of that hard disk so that it can place now any data on top of that on this hard disk it can place if there is any data it can read also so in windows machine the older version of file system is called f80 file allocation table newer file system is called ntfs new technology file system older very older file system is called fat file allocation table okay even if you see pen drive if you attach a pen drive to your computer if you go and check the file system for that pen drive it will be fat file allocation table if you see c drive or d drive right if you see here this is d drive right right click properties if you see the file system here it is ntfs if it if you attach any pen drive to this computer select that disk go to properties here you can see the file system for pen drive pen drive it will be fat 32 fat 64 will be there okay clear so right now i don't have pen drive well, see like if you connect you can check it out okay so this will be formatted hard disk will be formatted with the ntfs your pen drives are still formatted with fat system but we can select option while formatting we can select option what option you need okay fat or ntfs fat 32 64 fine understood the file uh, file system and one more let's say i have one more computer this is also windows computer and it's not possible to directly connect to the same hard disk one hard disk you can connect to one computer only you cannot share the hard disk between two computers and for some reason from this computer also at the same time you need to access the data which is stored on this hard disk directly it is not possible to connect then what we will do we will connect this computer to another computer like this okay and from this computer we will give some permissions so we'll go to this hard disk the content properties we will go and give some permissions to access from here 
that means from this computer we will have full permissions here we will have full access to this hard disk from this computer if you want to change format from right now it is d colon if you want to format as d colon you can format again but from here second computer it's not possible it will have limited access but also based on the permission that we have given from computer 1 to the computer 2 so it will access e disk lo unna a data ki aithe man permission isthavo aa data ni maatrame access cheyach Again, read key valla, full control key valla, only partial control key valla and then we can Complete key, e, e drive ni F drive laga marshal and te second computer ni nchi possible card. First computer ke full access into second computer ke only limited access into Okay. So that means sharing of hard disk with full permissions is not possible. If you want to have full control on this hard disk, from two or more computers at a time is not possible. Rendu Leland can take co computers in Chi, okay, time, same time, low, same hard disk, ni access shell and possible. Okay. This was the old architecture, possible to share same hard disk between two or more computers. So one computer will have full access. Another computer via network, it will it can have limited access. That's what it was. That's how it was designed earlier. Okay. Same thing works for Linux as well. After Windows, there was Linux operating system. The older file system it was called EXT3, Extended File System, version three, and newer EXT4. extended file system for again this is a linux machine this is another linux machine I'll ask your question now here listen carefully there is a hard disk the same way how you connect here this hard disk you can connect to any one of the computer this is a Linux machine. This is also a Linux machine. And it is the hard disk. If you connect to one computer, from here we will have full access. And from here we cannot directly connect. Same like Windows machine. So we have to connect via network. Like this. And from here, we will have limited access. We'll have limited access from here. Fine. So here also sharing was not possible. No sharing between two computers. And its file system is still. Now I have attached a pen drive. We'll see its file system just to show you quickly. You can see pen drive, USB drive, FAT32. Just I wanted to show you. Here you can see in there. While formatting the disk, you can have option to select whatever the file system that you want. Okay. NTFS, FAT32. For a pen drive, when it says default, that is optimized file system for it. I'm not formatting, so okay. Okay, so I'll just remove it. Fine, understood the file system with Windows and Linux. And now I have attached a hard disk to a Linux machine formatted with ext3 and copy 5 GB of data movie file I copy it on this hard disk now I'm going to remove this hard disk as it is and I will attach it to any Windows machine can I access the data from this Windows machine or not say yes or no
I want response from all the people from remote location. Okay, I'm asking again if somebody did not concentrate. So I have attached the hard disk to a Linux machine formatted with ext3 or 4, whatever it is. Let's say ext4 itself, latest version. ext4 and place some 5 GB of data. I'm removing this hard disk as it is and attaching it to a Windows machine. So from this Windows machine, can I see this data or not? Others, please respond. So, and it's clearly no, because this machine cannot understand this language. Okay, the easy example every time I give something like the story is written in some Japanese language. If I give it to you, you can't read. The same story, maybe until you know the Japanese language. Okay. Same story, same content. If I give it to you in English or your native language, you can read it because you know that language. In both cases, the content was same. The story was same. Okay. The story was same, but the way we laid out the data, so presenting the data was different. And there it was Japanese language where you don't know that layer. Now it is English, you know the layout. So same story, you can access with your known language. You can't access with a new thing. Okay. Same thing happens here, it's like that. If you attach, remove this hard disk from here and attach it to a Windows machine, it cannot access from here. Fine? So it will ask you to format again. If you format, we will lose the data. Whatever the data that is there, it will be deleted permanently. Yeah. So, so that was the situation with Windows and Linux before. Now, a new operating system. VMware has developed a new operating system. What is the name of the operating system? So VMware has developed new ESX operating system. And the same way they have developed new file system also for ESXi operating system to understand. Okay. Anyone remember what is the file system with VMware? Uh, remote, you, can you still hear me? Okay, thanks. VMFS, VMware file system. VMware file system, they have developed their own file system. Instead of using, instead of using this FAT, NTFS or EXT, they have developed their own file system. We'll see the advantages of this. In every version, the file system will be with its vSphere version only. If it is vSphere 6, VMFS 6, vSphere 7, VMFS 7, vSphere 5, VMFS 5. If it is, again, vSphere 5 has three different versions, right? 5.0, 5.1, 5.5, all of them, all the three versions have VMFS 5 only. So if you see here, we have ESXi 6.0, 6.5, 6.7. All three are using VMFS 6 only. It's an entire version, it's the same. Okay, there is no VMFS 6.5, there is no VMFS 6.7. It's all three, it's a six only. Fine. That's why I've written six as older version because we have seven as well. VSphere 7, VMFS 7. Advantage of the difference between older file systems versus this new VMware file system. 
you can see here there are two computers what will be installed in this computer here hmm? now install yes. voice installation yes. Yes, this is ESXi machine one, and this is ESXi machine two. And if you have a hard disk, what will be the let I'll attach it to your ESXi one. And if I format from ESXi one, what will be the file system here in this hard disk? If I format from ESXi machine. What will be the file system on that hard disk? What will be the file VM system? VMFS. Yes. yes, exactly. Here only you have answer, right? So it's a VMFS file system, VMware file system. And the advantage of this file system is you can connect multiple machines at a time directly. Now two machines are connected. More than two also we can connect. So we will see maximum how many we can connect. So maximum 64 we can connect. So right now two are connected. And both will have full permissions. Here also will have full access. From here also will have full access. Both machines will have full permissions same time on the same hard disk. From here also you can completely format if needed. From here also you can completely format if needed. Okay. Fine. On this hard disk, let's say you create a virtual machine here and you create another virtual machine here. A virtual machine files, two virtual machine files will be here dot vmx and he this machine also will have dot vmx both machines will have files here copied here now in this case esxi1 will have full permission on this vmx uh, this virtual machine folder when you power on this vm this esxi will take ownership of this vmx it will place a lock on this file instead of in complete hard disk here if you see this machine will have full complete access to this hard disk here instead of locking something or complete accessing the full hard disk it will have x lock on the only vmx file okay that too if you power on this vm if you power off again it will not do anything lock will be released again if you power on a vm from a esxi host it will place a lock on dot vmx that's why if you notice on a powered on virtual machine, if you look at the files that VMX, VMDK, there will be one file called LCK, log file. So it, instead of having full lock on the hard disk, it will have a lock on only the particular file of a virtual machine. Okay, this one. Understood? Sharing of, here it's called this shared hard disk. Shared storage. Hard disk. That is storage is shared. From remote, can you see my screen? Someone please confirm. Yes, sir, we can see. Some more people, yes. Thanks. Yeah, we can see. Thank you.
someone is facing issues. Thank you. This is called shared storage. That means multiple ESX machines can have full permission on a uh, store, storage hard disk at a time. Then it's called shared storage. With full permission, they can have access on this hard disk. There are a lot of advantages with this kind of shared storage. Excuse lot me, of... I have a... Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Yeah, I have a doubt, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. So, can you share the screen, sir? Yeah. It's yeah. So, you are saying that... Yeah, you are saying that this uh, shared storage we can use in both the machines, right? Yes. And uh, the thing, uh, you are talking about the lock system. So, uh, lock. just... Uh, uh, yeah, locking system. So there is a confusion there uh, for me. That is the first system. Suppose ESXi one. So I'm just viewing some virtual machine over there, and okay. if I want only the access to me, not to the other one, so I can mm -hmm. lock it there. Is it that which you are saying? No. Okay. It's not related to the administrators. Let's say mm -hmm. I'll log into the vCenter and show you. How it yeah. Looks like. It's a ESXi lock. ESXi will place a lock. So when you power on this virtual machine, right? This ESXi mm -hmm. machine place a lock on the VMX, stating that I'm I'm taking the ownership of this VMX file. From this ESXi machine, can't do anything when the lock is in place. So when the lock is being placed, only with the first system we, we are able to access it, not with the second. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So for something, okay. let's say, if you, there is a possibility that if it is off, right, there is no lock. In that situation, from here also, we can take the ownership of this file and you can bring the VM here and power on. When it is running, we can't do any changes directly from here. From here only, okay. we have to do changes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. If this virtual machine is powered on, summary tab here you can see it is powered on on ESXi machine, that is this one. From other machine, we can't do any activities on this VM. If it is powered off, we can do. So those activities we will see later, what kind of activities. Understood? Basic file system and the share, sharing concept, sharing the hard disk. So based on this shared storage, there are a lot of benefits. So a lot of features they were able to develop. Those features help customers to run their business applications without any impact. Something like here itself we can see. So there is some application is running here on this machine, Linux machine. If there is any problem on this machine, okay, until you fix this problem, this application will not come up because this application is binded on this machine. Okay. It will not come up until you fix this physical problem. If there is a motherboard crash, until you fix this problem, it will not come up. That fixing that motherboard problem may take one week, one day, or even more. Until then, that application will be down only. Okay. So if you see here, same thing happens. Let's say motherboard crashed on ESXi one. This machine will power off quickly. We can go to second ESXi host because the files are in the common storage. We can get access to these files and power on this virtual machine here immediately. Because the files are completely here, right? So from here, we can take the ownership from the second ESXi and power on. And your applications are available already. Your hardware is still failed. You can fix it later. Even after one week or one month, you take whatever time you want. But business applications are already running here. That's one just example. There are many benefits like that. That's why people started using this product compared to traditional model infrastructure. Because of this shared storage only, they were able to achieve all those benefits. If it is same thing like this, if the data is here, if this machine is down, we cannot access from the second machine. We 
we have limited access only so like this fine anna hello yes yes madam uh ganesh anna ah yes please do ఇది వర్చువల్ మెషిన్స్ టూ ఉన్నాయి కదా ఇప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ లో ఫస్ట్ దానికి యాక్సెస్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ లో ఉన్నప్పుడు సెకండ్ దానిలో నుంచి వర్క్ చేసుకోవచ్చు అన్నారు అంటే సెకండ్ కి సెకండ్ సిస్టమ్ నుంచి ఫస్ట్ ఇది వర్క్ చేసేటప్పుడు దానికి ఏం పాస్వర్డ్ ఏమి ఉండదు అని లేదు అలాగే ఆ పాస్వర్డ్ అనేది హార్డ్ డిస్క్ లోపల ఉంటది మనము ఆ ఎంటైర్ మెషిన్ ని ఇంకో చోటుకి మూవ్ చేస్తున్నాం పాస్వర్డ్వర్డ్ There is a physical server with local hard disk, 100 GB RAM, a Xeon processor. And we install ESXi on top of it. Okay. Now once you install ESXi, and we will create virtual machines on top of it. For your quick understanding, I told you that we will place virtual machine here. That VMX, VMDK, everything, normally we place it here. So we will not use local hard disk to place any virtual machines here. Okay, we will not get the benefits later. Okay, so this local hard disk also it will be having very small disk only, let's say 270 GB, something like this, very small. If I want to create 500 GB hard disk on this virtual machine, where do we get? There is only 270 GB. You cannot give 500 GB hard disk to this virtual machine. Okay, so like that, that another reason. So here, 4 GB, 2 CPU, and C column, let's say 100 GB. So to place virtual machine hard disk, this entire machine will occupy around 100 GB space. You can place it on the local hard disk, but we will not place it on the local hard disk. For that purpose, we have a separate technology or external storage as of now simply called external storage like we use external hard disk right to place data like this we will connect our es6 don't draw this diagram there will be more components will come in quickly i'm saying so es6 will be connected to the external storage okay this storage box is called san array we'll discuss completely about it. This in the external hard disk we use by right, for, for a personal use. For here, we will use remote storage called complete box will be having a lot of space. Depends on our company. Next to three to four years future use, they will purchase either 100 terabyte, even more than that. Depends on the company necessity for next three to four years of data storage, they will buy it. We know one terabyte itself, we can how much we can store our personal data so it will be like 100 terabyte okay even petabytes it's available okay. so es6 machine will be connected to this external house storage and store there will be separate team who will be handling this part they will create partitions here like this multiple partitions like how you manage your personal hard disk right cd and all. one hard disk you will split into cd this will be around 4 terabyte. This also can be 4 terabyte. It's not, it's a standard 4 terabyte. You can create any any size. 
six or six terabyte or two terabyte, whatever it is, even ten terabyte, up to sixty four terabyte, we can create maximum sixty four terabyte single partition. So once you create this partition, it will be visible from the ESXi. And what will be the file system we have to format here? If you connect to ESX machine, if you want to place any data on a particular hard disk, right now it is brand new hard disk. Created a partition, but there is no file system yet. If you connect to ESXi machine, from here, if you want to read or write data on this particular hard disk, what will be the file system that it should be created? PMFS only. PMFS. Okay. It should be formatted with VMFS file system. Then only we can place any data from the ESXi machine. ESX machine can read and write data from VMFS file system. As a VMware administrator, we will format this with VMFS. Now, a virtual machine will be placed here. What will be the files that will be created here? When you create a virtual machine. First file. Dot. VMX. Dot. VMDK. VMDK. Flat dot VMDK. Flat dot VMDK. Flat dot VMDK. And we ram all those files. And we ram VSM. WP VSWP okay. VMSD VMSD dot log and log yeah. so all the files will be created inside a folder here okay inside this VMFS file system it will create a folder inside that folder all the files will be there all the, this entire folder will occupy almost 100 GB however the hard disk GB, uh, how much is the, the hard disk GB that you allocated? This entire folder will occupy. Out of 4000 GB now, it will occupy 100 GB. We are giving 100 GB. It will occupy 100 GB space from this 4000 GB. All of you are aware of like GBs, TB, petabytes, MB, and all right. If anyone is not, Please let me know. MB, GB, terabyte, petabytes. Petabyte at least, okay, at least terabyte you should be aware. So I'll clear, then fine. Okay. So for quickly, I'll write. Even before 1024 bytes equal to 1 MB. Okay, so it will be there. Okay, so now. So, virtual machine. Will occupy, will get RAM and CPU from the ESXi machine. And hard disk. It will be placed in the remote storage. Clear? Right. So now clearly we will see all the components from one ESXi machine to the storage array in real time how it will be connected and what we have to do. Physical machine, the physical server that we are installing ESXi, 
on the back end it will have separate two adapters to connect to the remote storage it will have separate slots to connect to the remote storage same way however your laptop has a separate slot to connect to internet cable right it will have the physical server will have separate slot same like ports same like network ports where you connect internet cable right similar ports will be there and from here one cable will be connected to one device another cable will be connected to another device this device is called switch fan switch one so which is specially purchased to connect to storage only these adapters also made specially to connect to the storage and these switches also are specially manufactured to connect to the SAN array from here one cable will be going into the front, the port on the SAN array here also it will have separate port to connect to the storage system this uh, storage switch and from here also it will be connected to this switch and from here one connection here and one connection here there will be four ports here this front end right this it will have four separate connections you can connect like this okay from the physical server to the storage array it will be connected in this manner to storage adapter generic name i am giving storage adapter storage adapter 1 and storage adapter 2 will be connected to with a cable normal internet cable how we use it with the same cables it will be connected to storage switches these switches will have lot of ports same like in our lab we have a separate switch right so switch port like we will see it will have multiple ports here like this you can connect multiple cables okay i'll show you that image as well okay maybe next class tomorrow i'll show you that image like this so only one port is connected as of now it can connect it can we can connect lot of other devices also every port right here we can connect one cable like from here one one switch here or from here to another connection here we have some more empty slots we can connect some more cables as well now from here we connected to the storage array there is specially manufactured adapters here on the storage array it's called spa and spp storage processor this box is called storage array so our responsibility in day to day job is up to this part only this part only our responsible this will be handled by a separate team storage switches this uh, san array will be handled by a separate team in day to day job also there will be separate team storage team or san team they will take care of this thing tasks on this san array and there will be data center team who will be connecting these cables and all so three teams together will involve here in this configuration vmware team data center team for cabling and storage team or san team three teams will together work to connect this and physical uh, technically connect this partitions and store virtual machines clear from an asxi machine to the storage this is how it will be connected any question fine and 
if you have another ESXi machine now, it will have two separate adapters, same like here, storage adapters. From here, we will connect to this port. From here, we will connect to this port. Now, ESXi2 also connected to the storage array. And we will ask storage team, hey, can you connect this 4 terabyte partition to the ESXi2 as well? There is There are some technical uh, steps involved here during this. I'm just drawing this uh, picture, right? Tomorrow, technically, we'll see. After this physical cabling, what information we have to share it to them and storage team, how they will connect this partition to the ESXi, how they make it visible and how we format with VMFS. All these technical steps will involve, we'll see tomorrow. And now second ESXi also is connected and we will inform the storage team. Hey, can you connect the same storage, four terabyte partition to the second ESXi? And why are these switches? They will go and present it to the second ESXi. And again, question to you now. Once the second partition, the same four terabyte partition, they made it visible to the second ESXi, it will be directly visible or do we need to format again? Do we need to format no. or no need? Just say yes or no. Yes means we have to format. No means we don't need to format. Yes or no? No, no sir. No, sir. no is correct answer because this is already formatted with VMFS and some virtual machines are running. If you make it visible from the SAN switches to the second ESXi, it will be directly visible. You don't need to format. If you format, we will lose all the data. Again, it will be formatted with VMFS only, but we will lose the data. It's like the question I asked, this is something like that. I have attached a pen drive to my laptop, copied some VMware documentation into the pen drive, and I have given it to you. If you attach your laptop, can you see the data or you need to format again? Can we see the data? Because can directly see the data you don't need to format if you format what will happen you will lose the content no, all the, the data, data will be deleted permanently again yes. so we don't need to format here also the same the partition is formatted with vmfs if you make it visible to the second host it will directly see because it's vmfs formatted this is esx it can understand that vmfs file system fine as simple as pen drive example Clear? Anyone confused from remote? Fine. So that's all. We will we'll technically see tomorrow. Like, what? Uh, what are the steps involved in that logical configuration? Physical connectivity will be handled by the data center team. We don't need to worry about that. Then after that, logical configuration is there. We have to share the storage adapters address to the storage team, and they will create partition and present it to our ESXi machine via these switches. Once they do that, from ESXi machine, we will go and format with VMFS file system. That technical steps, we will discuss tomorrow and see that. And meanwhile, uh, quickly, we'll see some vendors here who are involved in this total technology. So I will write the names. Okay, you tell me what components they have developed at least. Okay, from this picture only, from these technologies, VMware. What is the component developed by VMware from this picture? ESXi. ESXi. Then I will say Microsoft slash. Unix. Unix means all Linux companies. Uh, Hyper-V is that hypervisor level from this point of view. Sans which is no. Now you tell me. 
Microsoft Windows. Windows and Linux. Guest OS, right? They are involved yeah. in guest OS. Guest OS. Yeah. 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 Y